Hi, welcome to my front yard. Today I'm going to talk uh, a little bit about my time trial bike and how to optimize it for short time trials and to get uh, the last uh, smallest bit performance out of it. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the obvious things like air wheels, air frames, the position and so on, but rather I will focus on little finishing touches and some not so well known products that can really make a difference to your time trialing. So first up uh, is probably my KH time trial Garmin mount. With most air bar setups it's not uh, very easy to position uh, your Garmin in a way that is both aerodynamic and that you can actually see it and uh, in a time trial it's crucial to see your power numbers so I went with this uh, KHTT mount it's not cheap but I think it's a thing that you are only going to need to buy only once and it's really clever uh, in a way because you don't have to actually take it off to put your Garmin in even though it's the space here will be too narrow to turn your Garmin you just turn this bottom part and it just clicks in so that's a really good uh, product for mounting your Garmin and it works well for different applications then one specific problem I had with my TT bike that I mentioned uh, this earlier is that because of the one by shifting setup my extensions were uh, quite uneven in length so I used this uh, 3D printed bar plug so they're basically if you look at it uh, except the shifter then they are just the right length so I can position myself comfortably uh, another thing that can save you a bit of power and gain you a bit of speed is uh, ditching your bar tape from your base bar uh, in time trial you want to be in the arrow bars as much as possible so you don't really need the comfort here and normal bar tape isn't uh, too grippy so when you have some technical features some descending braking a hairpin turn then you're much better off with grip tape this is simple skateboard grip tape really cheap and really grippy so you can actually stay on your base bar when braking hard and that can save you a few seconds when cornering uh, I'm going to touch uh, the time trial position a bit with my stock bar pad that the speed concept has well the cups themselves are plastic and the foam isn't too grippy and that creates a problem for me because when I go over a rough surface I automatically slide forward and that renders me una unable to put the power down so I uh, well, I actually found this uh, product on Instagram. It's by a small company called Watchup, and they will make you a custom carbon fiber armrest plate, which is it saves around 200 grams from this setup. But it's not uh, not very important. The most important feature is, of course, that it's very deep. If you look at it from the front, you can see that it comes up very very high, so you get a very secure. Uh, fit in there so you're not going to slide around to the outside and the foam you get with it is also quite tacky so you're not sliding forward either uh, then again a bit of a position optimization I don't think I could ever uh, do a good time trial without a split mode saddle because obviously when you are in a forward rotation very low over the bike then a standard cell is going to put a lot of pressure on areas you don't want to have pressure on so this uh, is actually also quite a niche product is the dash TT9 saddle it also has this uh, extension to make it USA legal but has no real function apart from the water bottle mount but I found this saddle extremely comfortable for 
basically whatever distance you're riding so I definitely recommend you check this one out uh, then if you come to gearing well I've shown you my one by setup earlier it's excellent for flat uh, time trials and basically you're eleven of the length but here you are a bit uh, limited with the gearing options uh, so you need to know what you're doing with your with the chaining and cassette sizes the time trial I'm going to uh, do now is completely flat so I wanted to put a big ring on it to get some efficiency because when you are riding basically in this setup uh, the smaller cog you have your chain on the less efficient your drive chain is gonna be so you want to judge your gearing so that basically when you take your average speed at a good cadence you should be riding at the middle of the block and that's gonna be the most efficient as for my, my speed I want it to go to the 54 but I also want to keep the option of going for a small gear for some hillier stages so I ordered my cork as a 110 mil BCD but then you are quite limited in the choice of big chain rings because uh, the biggest uh, one by chain ring they make for 110 BCD is a 50 tooth and that's way too small for a, a flat time trial stage not because you can spin it out because of course you can't uh, ride at 75 k per hour but because it's very inefficient riding in a in the small small combination so to cut it short this is also a product a very niche product actually Aero Coach from Great Britain they make these uh, custom carbon fiber chain rings but I think they will be soon available in aluminum and the interesting thing is that they're not actually round if I spin it around then you can see that it's it's not oval either it's kind of like the asymmetric chain ring but not so extreme uh, and I found it to be really useful because when you're pedaling it you don't really notice it's not round but I felt I can get a bit uh, higher wattage out without burning up my legs uh, soon and when you order this chain ring you can pretty much they can pretty much do any uh, any installation or any BCD you want so actually this is quite a custom fit it also has a nice cutout for the cork so it just slides over I don't even have to take the cranks off to make it work so excellent product and if you look at it closely you will see that it's a one piece carbon fiber ring and the teeth are actually machined out which is a thing I haven't seen before and I actually didn't know it was even possible to machine carbon fiber like that uh, then of course we could touch on the pedals as well these are uh, aerodynamic pedals from Speedplay really good for time trials because you don't have to you don't really need both sides anyway you just uh, set up clipped in <coughs> and then of course the heart of the one by setup which is the force one clutch derailleur I could have used a uh, SRAM RED uh, short catch derailleur with the oversize ceramic speed oversized pulley wheels on it but I would rather have my chain secure from this large chain tension than saving that last half a watt or one watt and I also want I was also thinking about uh, ETAP one by but uh, so far I'm really satisfied with this system you can put basically uh, a huge range of cassettes on it this is an 11 to 28 <coughs> which is my smallest one for flat stages it's completely fine I also have a 32 and 36 for when there's more climbing and I finished off it off with my Jaguar aluminium uh, outer cable 
So this way it shifts like crazy, super fast, super precise. And it really is an I think it's an advantage in a time trial where you don't have to think about the front wing, you just go harder or easier at the back and that's that's your shifting basically. Okay, so these were a couple of setup tweaks <coughs> for my time trial bike. I'm really looking forward to race this thing. I think you agree. Looks quite special. And well, we'll see how it performs at the races. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more about this bike or my other bikes and tech tips and so on, then don't forget to tune in to my channel and subscribe. For today it's all. Thanks for watching and see you next time.